Nations and flee Romania. Guys, the accusations against Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate are now exposed as so utterly corrupt. We we couldn't we couldn't really fathom how corrupt they are, and there there are some serious problems here. And one of them is that degenerate femininity and all the outrage that it possesses is attempting to bend reality despite rationality, despite logic, despite the mechanisms of common sense and evidence itself. Degenerate femininity is the reason why Andrew Tate is in jail and it's now confirmed he did nothing wrong. I'm trying to remain calm because this is so um, earth-shattering. These women here, there, were, there are two women. This is one of them. And this is the other. That are the accusers of Andrew Tate. There are videos of them making TikTok videos in Andrew Tate's house. Completely free, partying, laughing together. The, the supposed sex trafficking victims. Then, not only were they, so, so, so they're sex trafficking victims, then they leave to go to France together without Andrew Tate and stay at the most expensive place you can stay at, the Riviera in, 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 um, in France where you have to spend thousands of dollars a day, probably like $10,000 a day. This is, this, is, this is a picture of them hundreds of miles away, partying, doing, doing whatever they want. These are, these are made up charges and the world needs to understand what's happened here is a utter disgrace of justice and morality. I can't believe, I can't believe that, that, that this is happening, but this has never happened before, where a person, was, a person has been targeted, taken down, because they have become so masculine and so impressive to so many people, and also innocent, that they've done nothing wrong, that the only way, the only way for them to be targeted is through radical feminine emotion, not rooted in objective reality, not rooted in evidence, not rooted in rationality, not rooted in any type of logic whatsoever. The reason Andrew Tate is in prison is because of feminine degeneracy, feminine emotionality, and it has no bearing on reality whatsoever, and now it's public. Andrew Tate being in prison falsely is disturbing enough. I find it more disturbing that this is possible, that a person can be imprisoned with, with no evidence, with no charges. The, 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 the women bringing the charges are bringing it out of an, a, a resentment that is hard to fathom, an, an, an anger that is only born of feminine psychopathy, a, a, a female psychosis. A resentment so powerful, the mind, the mind can't grasp it. To lie about a man because he has become so powerful, so masculine, so impressive, and, and, and is a beacon for men that you, that you're so triggered by that, that you lie, and then that the system foregoes rationality, evidence, morality, and then, and then backs you, backs your denial of reality, to imprison an innocent man this is this is this is a separation in the culture this is this is a stratification this is like the the the, the red sea being being parted like this is a um bro this is like the elevator doors opening in the shining this is this is a this moment as of right now with this evidence being being leaked is a point of no return for degenerate feminists for People who put emotionality and female degeneracy above logic and rationality. Andrew Tate is an innocent man. And he's in prison right now. There's, there's, no, there's no way around this. They're in France. They're in a different country. 
instead of going to her family, instead of going to the police, instead of going to a government, her with her supposed other girlfriend who's also being sex trafficked, go to another country t freely and party at the most expensive resort possible after clearly, and thank goodness the, the, the Tates have video footage in every room of their house, after making TikTok videos, laughing, partying, being super carefree and just, and just basically living off the Tate's dimes. That the, 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 they do this. I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. We are, we are living in, we are living in a world that is upside down. Understand that there's not, there's not a way for this to function. If this is, if this is adopted, it will mean the collapse of the Western world. It will mean the collapse of any country that adopts this type of degenerate mindset where a woman can, um, leverage victimhood, false victimhood, to the point where you imprison the most powerful man basically in the world, most famous man in the world, most impressive man in the world, for no reason other than the fact that he's impressive and you're triggered over it. There's, there's no way around this. And um, you see this in, in the disturbing videos where they interview women on the streets. You know, there, there are these guys who walk with mic microphones and um, ask women, what do you think about Andrew taping in prison? They say that they're glad, but not because he's committed a crime. They say they're glad because they disagree with what he has to say. Think about that. Female degeneracy is, is a threat to Western civilization. There is no way to overcome it without smashing it with objective reality, without, without just... Um, utterly dominating it with, with um, rationality and justice. There, there's no other way. This is, this is um, beyond disturbing. He's not a sex trafficker, and, it, and it's now proven. I mean, people knew that it, that it was fake, but now we just know they're lying. N now we just know that they are lying because they are enemies of the truth, because they are agents of evil. Th the Matrix maybe didn't go far enough. These people are serving evil evil like like the the opposite of god they are serving the opposite of god when they say things that are purposefully the opposite of truth and imprison an innocent man for no reason other than vindictive degenerate femininity and all the men that lie as well on andrew tate's name are possessed by the same psychosis I can't believe, I can't believe we're living through this time. Never before, I don't think ever, ever, in any society that has ever existed on the face of the planet, has, has the most powerful man, most famous, impressive man, man on the world, been imprisoned with no evidence or, or relationship to reality at all. That, it just hasn't happened. They've, men have been assassinated. They've been um, usurped with kings or emperors, but never by the lies of an emotional woman that are baseless in reality has this ever happened. What are we seeing right now? Dude, what, what is happening? These are the women that were supposedly trafficked. Thank God, like, thousands of people are watching this right now. Dude. Free the Tates or we're going to have a problem. And I'm not talking about just a local problem. I'm talking about the collapse of civilizations. Civilizations can't stand when degeneracy is promoted over over adhering to reality there's there's actually not there's actually not another way of operating there's no other way of operating besides um understanding that reality um and and morality exist otherwise your civilization will just collapse there there's and i don't want i don't want um civilization to collapse i don't want the west to collapse but we're going to collapse if we put degeneracy th think think of where we are think of how many people have had to be morally and 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 factually careless we're paying for it this is what happens when you when you deny the existence of objective frameworks you get situations like this i don't know how this is possible the, the 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 amount of um 
neglect of, of morality that, 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 is, that, that it would have to be possible for this is, um, I mean, it's cause for reflection, but I don't know if it's, if it's redeemable. I don't know if it's, if, if we're redeemable. Um, this is crazy. This is clown world. It, I mean, no, it, it goes beyond clown world. This, yeah, this goes far beyond clown world. Okay, so listen to this. Oh, there's more, all right? <laughs> Aliona goes, so they will not think we are really against them, you know? Bear goes, yeah, that, smart. Aliona says, play the victim. I mean, we are like, but yeah, act like we still love them and stuff. These women are scheming and plotting on paper and on record to lie about and take down Andrew Tate. They are scheming on purpose. Bear ha. goes, ha ha, ha ha ha. Mean we are? Wait. This is female degeneracy. They're laughing about it. And then Bear goes, what, what? After the first, uh, oh, she goes, what, what? Then after the first raid, on or about the 12th of April, Bear goes, tomorrow we should wear makeup and sunglasses so nobody really notices what we look like or who we are. This is demonic. What you're seeing is demonic. Yeah, I guess, from Aliona. And then she goes, LOL. We are writing a movie ASAP. And Aliona, and that's, uh, Bear says that, and then Aliona says, yep. Are you reading this? You can't, the, 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 the agents of evil are exposed. Do you understand? Do you, do you understand? They're exposed. They plotted to lie about him on purpose, and now the world knows. <sighs> I Guys, can, yeah. It, it, I, I'm just going to say this right now. This it's, is female degeneracy. This is disgusting, man. This is, this is evil. This is evil. This is probably one of the most disturbing things I've ever seen. These two women, and, and, and yeah. there's more, don't worry, are literally plotting against the Tate brothers for a come up. And they're saying, they're admitting that they're going to lie, that they love them and they did these things because they love them, which is indicative of her interview that she gave a couple of days ago. And the vice thing. Oh my God. These are evil people. These, these are evil people. And thank God for the good, for the light coming to surface. It cuts through the darkness. The truth is coming out, and the and and it's not just the agents of the Matrix. They serve they serve Satan. They serve Satan. If that wasn't the case, I wouldn't say it. But they they, they serve Satan. To some, I forget what broadcast company she gave an interview to. I think it was uh, Vice or somebody. Right? Saying, oh, well, I, I consented to everything, but I loved him. And the reason why this is one of the most disturbing things I've ever seen as well is because it's the, culmin it's the culmination of, of unchecked female psychosis, like gone totally rampant, like resentful, emotional female pathology growing and growing like a, paid, uh, like a, like a pit of snakes. And, and, and getting to the point where it engulfs our culture to the point where men can be imprisoned that are innocent. They, they are just imprisoned because these women lied about them. Women lie about men all the time. But the fact that our culture supported it and, and celebrated it in some circles is the pathology I'm speaking of. They want him in prison because of who he is and not what he's done. They want him in prison because of what he symbolizes, because of the truth he embodies and not what he's done. I can't remain silent about this. This is, this is, uh, this is a shattering point for Western civilization if this isn't burned out like the, pit, like, like the pit of snakes it is. This, this, this is, this is, uh, more than disturbing, it's evil. I felt coerced, blah, 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 blah. You guys are seeing it right here in 1080 fucking P that they plotted, okay, and conspired. Now, at this point, this is, they conspired, premeditated. And the thing is, you can't deny it because they're, it's on paper. They conspired to lie about him and planned it on purpose.
You guys get it? You guys get what that means? It means there's not a debate anymore. It means that Andrew Tate was right about the Matrix the entire time. It means there's not a discussion of, I disagree that they lied. No, no, no. They lied and it's on record and it's premeditated. Yep, murder, basically. Yeah, to, to go ahead and lie on these men and tarnish their reputations. And then they fled to France and went on a vacation after. And they had, a, all of a sudden, they have a bunch of money in a very wealthy area and access, that we can't explain. And access to like cars, lifestyle. Someone was paying for that. Someone was paying for that trip that cost $10,000 a day. Who was that, I wonder? Now that we know Andrew Tate is objectively correct about the Matrix and that it will lie to take you down, I wonder who is paying for that trip. Scheme of things, but this like, has never happened before in the history of the planet. The average guy out here, right? Imagine if you're somebody that had some, maybe some status, maybe a little bit of money yourself, and you worked hard for that stuff, right? You meet a, a woman, and she says, you know what? I'm not going to get what I want from you. I'm going to take it back. It goes here. Now, this is uh, Emma Gabby, right? This is the girl from Miami, okay? But that goes, a.k.a. Bear. She's talking to her family. So Bear goes, look. Uh, I know you don't believe I can handle this, but I can't. I'm not. God bless the forces of good that made this public information. Uh, so concerned. Tristan doesn't really care if I leave because we made the brothers believe we are in love. Think we will. They think we will run back. So hold on, stop the show. <laughs> so you're telling me that you're being trafficked, but you. Oh my God! They're admitting to lying about being trafficked here. Now you're saying on one end that they don't care if you leave. They're saying they tricked the Tate brothers into thinking they were in love and and are go and they're admitting they're planning to go back to them. <gasps> Dude, the case is over. It's done. Oh my god, bro. Free the Tates or we're going to have a big problem. And I mean a big problem. It sounds like you're free to me. Which one is it? <laughs> Which This is damning. This is damning. Which one is it? Are you being trafficked or are you not? If you're being trafficked, that means Tristan would really care that you stayed. Hmm. But according to the video footage that we just played, you dumbasses dancing, shooting TikTok videos together, etc. They weren't even there. And we know personally from being there, Tristan and Andrew don't care if they leave or come. No. They, they don't care. They don't give a shit. Next. Bear goes, my main concerns are coming from things some girls are saying. Okay. And then Bear goes, a lot to explain. We will be out. This is female pathology being manifested in front of you pay very close attention if you're fine bear goes i don't in their treachery in their lying cowardice in their moral bankruptcy their concerns do not center around the moral barriers that they are desecrating they're concerned and they're not concerned about the perversion of justice they are worried what other women think of them as they do it they are worried if other women buy into their lies, their own social status, not even in reality, but their social status as perceived by other emotional women who they hope are possessed by the same pathology that pushes them to do what they're doing now. These are the forces of evil. These are the forces of evil. I don't think they care that much if we leave anyway. This is why I feel okay. Once again, confirming that the Tate brothers don't give a crap if they leave. This is female pathology talking to itself. Pay close attention. All right? I, Bear goes, I will make the call uh, and do the right thing um, in the situation. And this is all dated. This is, guys, this is six days before. Uh, sorry, excuse me. This is. Uh, and they're lying to themselves as they do it. Uh, three days before the party. Okay. Right now, we both want to be in London. And then... Uh, so this girl's talking to her family. Apparently. Yeah, I think this might be her mom. Yeah. Um, and then it's, I think they sent a screenshot or something. And then it sends a voice message. And then Mona goes, go to London, but why have all the American embassy on alert? You are causing major upheaval because the Marines and all-American squad is on the go now. Fuck it, Emma, fuck it. And then, <laughs> and then she goes, uh, you called? I disregard for reality disregard for for the impact of their actions regardless of how, of how big regardless of if it's if it implicates military like the this is rampant female degeneracy like pre pretty much as bad as it can get i didn't 
I want to leave my London. Uh, I Mom, want to leave to London. You call. You call that you, and then uh, it goes here Tuesday when we leave. Yep, and that's yeah. That was on April. So they had been plotting this guys for a while. For a minute. Okay. Dude. Treacherous, evil, uh, morally bankrupt. There, there aren't enough terms to describe this kind of behavior. These women need to be famous for all the right reasons, and they need to be in prison for decades. Since the 6th. But three days later, they're at the house still partying. Then they can see everything. Bear says, look, if you stop me from going to London, expect me to disappear. Bear says again, I want to go to London. Um, and he says, how dare you put me in danger like that, says Bear. Bear says, you called? Bear said, not me. Mona says, go to hell, Emma. The, your ignorance and it, your arrogance and ignorance and bullshit go to up what plan or Bangkok or Bora Bora. Who is tape stopping, stopping you? you? The whole American embassy is on alert. Shame on you. <laughs> Bear says, that's your fault. Thanks. So we, So it might be that they contacted the embassy earlier. Seems like they might have done their honor about the 6th. But we had a hunch. Did the party on the 9th. Yeah. So, so that makes it even worse. Yeah. So it looks like they already had contacted the embassy on the 6th, honor about. The 9th, we know, is the party. And then the raid happened on or about the 11th or 12th. And we had a hunch that the embassy was involved because, once again, guys, you know the whole media against Andrews out there. So that, with some evidence, they can't wait to pass out that story to put it on. So, I mean, bro, this is... Free Andrew Tate immediately. It's over. It's in the open. There's not that you can't deny it anymore. They they, they, they they plotted and planned to lie about him on purpose. This was premeditated. We can read their evil on transcripts. Free the Tates. That's all I'm going to say right now. I'm too angry to say anything else.